for my fifth tour de force tours, I'm going to take you up into Berkshire, the Thames Valley, to Basildon Park. And I'm going to show you how I take photographs of the interior of a National Trust property where, incidentally, the use of tripods is not permitted. I'm going to use the EM10 as backup, but my main camera is going to be the EM1 with the 12 to 100 Pro lens, both of which have image stabilizers. I can't show you the EM1 at the moment because it is recording this video. In fact, with the help of this uh, camera, I could perhaps Take a shot. I hope it's okay. If not, I won't show it. Getting to the Thames Valley, that is the, the Berkshire bit from Surrey, by train is easy. Service from Red Hill, change at Reading's brand new station for Pangbourne. That is when you can find the right platform because there are now 15. Anyway, I have the right one because this is my train, which I had to myself. The total cost with rail card was £13.75. Now that must be a bargain. At Pangbourne, couldn't resist popping inside the church to practice a bit of hand-holding in low light. Church is dedicated to St. James the Less. Had to look that up possibly a victim of translation, as apparently he was regarded as a minor disciple of Jesus. Assuming, of course, that Wikipedia is correct. Pangborn also has an elephant. There is a bus service, but only on Tuesdays. Today is Thursday. So I walked to Basildon Park by way of their rather grand entrance, the Oxford Lodges, which was locked when I tried to leave. From a sunny start it had now clouded over, but still bright, so I headed first for the interior of the mansion. Under a cloudy sky the dynamic range is reduced. But I still need to do a lot of work based on experience. Yes, you need to know what your camera controls do, and which are the right ones in Lightroom or Photoshop, but how they are used requires experience. A craft, in my opinion, that cannot be taught. You won't find the answer in a book or anywhere else, not even me. Now, did you spot the difference? I remove the annoying highlight from the lamp by taking highlights right down in Lightroom. There can be an enormous contrast range between an image out of camera and post-production. Most ends up underexposed, and there's a bit that is overexposed but I meet it in between, erring towards that highlight. In Adobe Lightroom, I can lighten the interior and then show what is through the window by darkening it. This is a technique built over many years, and anyway, if it is of any help, here are the Lightroom settings. The National Trust do not allow the use of tripods inside their houses, so you have to hand hold. Tough, mate. I don't like increasing the ISO. Some of my clients don't like it, but my trusty EM1 and 12 to 100 Pro lens have image stabilizers, and you can get away with murder. This is a quarter of a second. Holding your breath helps. And, as a friend once said to me, Derek, press the shutter button between heartbeats. I think he was pulling my leg, but 
he could have a point. However achieved, I would regard this as real photography. Well, the sun has paid a return visit. Time to venture outside. After a well-earned cuppa and an egg mayonnaise sandwich, of course. The mansion was built from honey-coloured bath stone. Now, Bath is in the Cotswolds, incidentally. And I really do need the sun to bring those glorious hues to life. The garden will respond either way, much depending on what you shoot and how it is presented. Also, there are wonderful views over the Thames Valley. The music, incidentally, is by Frederick Delius, his Inner Summer Garden. Now, how appropriate. After I had been let out from Basildon Park, someone had very kindly appeared with a key. I then detoured via the river back to the station, passing the 12th century church of St. Bartholomew's at Lower Basildon. It was open, so I popped in. Now redundant, it is in the care of the Church's Conservation Trust, a national charity protecting historic churches at risk. After my visit to the Church of St. Bartholomew's, I continued on the path down to the River Thames and then took the riverside path all the way back to the station, something like two or three miles. On the way, I met a couple who had just moored their boat. We had a chat, and they invited me to take wine with them. How could I refuse? What a wonderful end to the day. Must go back sometime. 